And now let us return and talk about uh, the method of play that we were already discussing before. And this is the method of the use of two weaknesses in the position. So this is a very uh, common and most frequently used uh, method of the realization of advantage. And it uh, makes uh, sense to study more games. So this is a very famous uh, position from the game between uh, Robert James uh, Fisher against Mark uh, Taimanov. So white now makes uh, the move uh, bishop f1, forcing the move a5, because if uh, the move uh, rook a8 is played, then bishop c4, and white wins the pawn on f7, because rook a8 cannot defend both pawns at the same time. So a5, bishop c4, rook f8. And now we have the position where black has two weaknesses, the pawn on b6 and the pawn on f7. So the idea of white now is to try to activate the king and to try to approach with the king to attack the pawn on b6. King g2, king d6, king f3, knight d7, rook e3, knight b8, rook d3, knight c7, c3. So white is improving the position uh, slowly. Knight c6, rook e3, king d6, a4. Also played with an idea to fix the bigness of the pawn b6 that does not run away. Knight e7, h3, knight c6, h4. And here Taimanov makes a very responsible decision and he makes the move h5. Probably it is the reason why black loses at the end. When the opponent has a bishop, it is better not to keep the pawns on the color of the bishop, because later all these pawns can be attacked. And especially you have the second weakness on b6, so it will be very, very difficult. And of course it is also against the chess principle that you should not uh, play on the part of the bot where your opponent wants uh, to play. In any case, h5 is a bad move. Rook d3, king c7, rook uh, d5. Now the pawn also is forced to the square f5, because when black plays g6, sooner or later the plan with the 5 breaking the pawn chain will come into mind. So f5, rook d2, rook f6. And now it is a very important moment for the game because it is necessary to imagine the winning uh, plan. And of course uh, at this moment it is not possible uh, to calculate uh, variations uh, very very uh, well. So white imagines. Again, he uses the fantasy, and the fantasy would be to exchange uh, the rooks, bring the king to b5, and then create the position of Tsun Tsuang, where the knight will be forced for the defense of the pawns of the king side, and the king will be forced to defend the pawn b6, and then there will be no free moves. Then white will win. So this is the plan. And when we have the clear vision, we have the fantasy about the dream position that we want to achieve, it is important to continue the realization of this plan. So very, very simple. Rook e2, king d7, rook e3, g6. Bishop b5, rook d6, king e2, king d8, and now rook d3. So the plan is being executed. White is going to exchange the rooks. King c7, Rook d6, king d6, king d3. So the king is going to the square b5. Knight e7, bishop e8, king d5, bishop f7, king d6, king c4, king c6, bishop e8, king b7, king b5, knight c7, bishop c6, king c7, bishop d5. And now we already have in vision the position of the Tsun Tsvang. And what would be the position? White king is standing on a6, bishop on e8, and black knight is on e7. Then there are no moves for black, and the pawns will be lost. So the method of uh, play, the method of the realization of advantage for white is 
creating the position of Sun Tsung using the attack of two weaknesses. One weakness is the pawn b6 and another weakness is the pawn g6. Sun Tsung is a very common method of play in the endings when you have the bishop against the knight or the bishop against the bishop. And it doesn't matter which bishop will be or the same colored bishops or the opposite colored bishops. So this is a very very common method of play, the common method of the realization of the advantage. Knight is 7 bishop f7, king b7. And now white makes some moves in order to win the time and to pass the order of moves. King a7, bishop d1, king b7, bishop f3, king c7, king a6. So the king is standing on a6, so knight e7 has to move. Bishop d5, knight e7, bishop c4, knight c6, bishop f7, knight e7, bishop e8. And finally the position of Sun Tsvang has been achieved. Now king d8 is the only move and now white is able to conduct the sacrifice of the bishop for three pawns and white is winning easily. Knight g6, king b6, king d7, king c5, knight e7 and now white advances the pawns on the king side and wins uh, easily because it is not possible to stop the promotion of the pawns. Excellent uh, game, classical example how to use the principle of two weaknesses in order to win the game.